If you save your money on this one, okay. and instead you just went down to the grocery store, you would have to pay like two bucks for some window cleaner. Whoa, okay. Hi, welcome to Rotten Rebel. I'm here with the one and only Sandra Solomon yes, Fragrance. Yes, hi everyone. And welcome to another fragrance haul. So I bought 10 fragrances. Some of these are fragrances I already tried and liked so much that I had to buy them. And some of these are blind buys. Are you ready? Yes. So first up, we have a fragrance from Dolce Gabbana. This is the one for men, Eau de Parfum Intense. So this is a fragrance I've already tried. I like it, but you never tried it, right? No, I haven't tried it. So let's hope that you will enjoy this one. Okay, <laughs> maybe not. I mean, it's definitely a good fragrance, okay. but since I like the original very much, I kind of had hope expectations for the intense one. So I think this will grow on me. Ah. I think I will like this more and more and I think I will like it when it hits someone's skin and gets a bit warmed up. Uh, it's a nice fragrance. This is very much like the one in the sense that I feel this is quite a mass appealing scent. Yes. This to me is nothing challenging or anything no. like that. But with that said, it is a bit different from the original, the one. So yeah, I like it. That's the reason why I bought it. You seem to hesitate a bit. No, I have I like no it. idea why, but yeah. So next up we have a fragrance from, I believe the company is Solid Notes. So I do want to say something about all of these. I bought all of these on sale. And that's my tip number one when you are buying online first make sure if you can to buy online because it's usually cheaper when you buy online number two try to find coupons or wait for a sale when you buy fragrances because that's going to save you a lot of money i bought each and every i have three from solid notes in this haul i never tried anything from the brand and i believe i paid these are 50 mils i believe i paid about 80 bucks per bottle. Wow. So they are not expensive. And no. reading on the bottle here, it says something in French like Victory Boitier. Bot <laughs> like, I, I believe it's like uh, it's, it wants something. Some kind of beauty award. Yeah, 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 yeah. So please do. This is the Oranger. Okay. Orange Blossom. Yeah. Okay. We are so fancy with. Did, I'm so fancy with my French. Did you uh, did you actually know that orange? I'm not gonna part of my French, by the way. Did you know that orange? Orange is. What's or, it say? Yeah, I know what orange is. No, but did you know that it's? Uh, what did you say? Orange blossom. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because no, I did not know that, but it, it <laughs> actually says orange blossom on the thingy. Yeah. So. So this. <laughs> uh, let's it. see if we can find. So this is lemon, pedigree, rose orange blossom, acacia, and musk. This reminds me very much of something that you already have. Ooh, it's like yeah, citrusy, I can feel it. creamy. It smells like one of the fragrances that Joe Malone made for Sarah. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Um, this one, I believe it's the Pedigreen, giving it that unique touch. I like it. I believe this one will probably settle into something that is a bit easier to enjoy. I but I mean for is... eight bucks. Yeah, it's a really good scent for eight bucks. I don't know about the performance, but for the money, it smells really good. Um, this is to me lemon citrusy creamy. Yeah. And that creaminess together with the lemon can for some smell wonderful, yeah, yeah. but actually for some be a bit cloying. Yeah. So is it a like, a big like, a dislike? Um, it's a like. It's yeah. not a big like, but it's a like. So next up we have a fragrance from Hugo Boss. So I tried this, I believe three times before actually <laughs> buying it. First time I was like, hey, this is nice and it has coconut which I absolutely yeah, love. I want even more coconut fragrances in my life. Yeah. Second time, I was like, hmm, maybe it's not something special. And the performance seems to be like pretty much all Hugo Boss fragrances. Not all, but most of them, i.e. not beast mode. No. Third time though, I was like, hey, this, is, this might be something that I will be willing to part my money with. <laughs> so I ended up buying it. This is Hugo Boss bottled 
Pacific. And I think you tried it, right? I don't think so. I'm not oh, sure. Okay. Uh, however, I'm really curious about this one because it's supposed to have both coconut and salty notes, yeah, which yeah. is something I absolutely love. Yeah. But however, many of the Hugo Boss fragrances smells quite a bit boring to me. Mm. But I'm really hoping for this one. Let's try this out. Freshness straight away, yeah. come on. Yeah. This is really nice. Yeah. This is like... And I'm loving this now because this is the first time I get a whiff of it like from distance. Yeah. And I'm gonna say that's even better when I try this before uh, like close This up. is gonna sound weird. This is like... Juliet has a gun, vanilla vibes without mm. the vanilla and the benzoin. But yeah, I'm really glad that I bought it because I feel this is a fantastic one. I'm loving yeah. it straight away right now. Yeah. I'm not sure why it took me three times to try it before I actually pull the yeah. trigger, but yeah. And I'm really sure that I haven't tried this before because if I would have, I would have said, hey, buy it. So from one solid note to another, this is Cerisier Ceris, Cherry Blossom. <gasps> Oh. So this is going What's to be... Was this one be... for me? Uh, no. He bought a fragrance for me. Isn't that kind? Put it in the comments if you think he should give it to me. Because I love cherries. Mm, yeah, you do. I, I, I also love cherries. Yeah, but I need it. Mm -hmm, okay, yeah. okay. So the notes, let's see, are tangerine, cardamom, cherry, raspberry, apple and musk. So... This is going to be interesting. And ooh, quite nice. Very sort of fruity straight away. This is really weird because at first I was like, no, you can have it. Whoa, okay. okay. And then I was like, yeah, this is good. But now it's not bad, but this is not my kind of scent. Ah, not okay. on a man and not on myself. Even though it's a pleasant scent. This is sort of a fruity sweet definitely musky and i do understand why you are not enjoying this one because it i believe this is going to be like a polarizing one you will either think it's fantastic or you yeah. will absolutely not enjoy it at all and feel like it's cloying it, sweet and all that yeah it uh, like i don't a... think it's a bad one though and uh, but it doesn't blow my mind either. Maybe it's gonna be better with some use, I don't know. But same yeah. thing with me. It doesn't impress me that much. No, it smells almost like a cheap body spray. So I'm really excited about the next one. This is Coach Green. I have Coach Platinum and I have Coach Blue. Both of those are fragrances I really enjoy. This one, I can't remember the nose, but it was like lime and maybe, I don't know. This reminds me of something. Mm -hmm. I really can't say what. <laughs> it's aromatic, it's fresh, it's definitely a bit spicy. Maybe leans towards something like a YSLY fragrance. I yeah. Think it's, I think it's good. It's not mind-blowing, it's not very unique, and you will definitely, just like me, feel that you have smelled something like this before. But I think I like it. I definitely like it and I also, much like you, feel that I've smelled something yeah. like this before. I quite like it, uh, but currently based on this initial first impression, I'm not sure it blows me away. This is like an easy reach that will make you smell good to most people in pretty much any situation. Yeah. But with that said, if you already have one of those kind of fragrances, like Jimmy Chuman Aqua or Wiser White or Parfum, then I feel you probably don't need this one, but I like it. So I believe I have two fragrances from Jimmy Choo. One is Man Aqua, which is a crazy compliment getter. I absolutely love that one. Yeah. The other one is Jimmy Choo Man Blue or something like that. That's also a nice one, even though I don't enjoy that one as much as Man Aqua. So, since I enjoy Jimmy Choo Man Aqua so much, I've always been interested in trying something else from Jimmy Choo. And this one was on sale. So here's the thing. 
I bought the biggest bottle, which is way too big for me. But the reason why I bought this 200 ml is because this was actually cheaper than both the 100 ml and I believe it was like the 60 yeah, ml. That's so that's the reason why I, I think this is too big. I mean, Look at yes. that thing. Spray this on. This is... I Ooh. think I like it, but I don't know what this is. This is I really... got a whiff of it, and the first thing that I thought of was Dior Sauvage. Sort of a Dior Sauvage-ish. Dior Sauvage with a musky fruity touch. And something dark smoky, or something. It's A big is... dose of fruitiness, definitely. Yeah. Okay, this is straight away, straight away a big like. I yeah. think this is a really nice yeah. scent. And I'm actually, no, look <laughs> at this happy. thing. Yeah, I'm really <laughs> happy that I bought, I, I would probably not use the entire bottle because I have so many fragrances. But this to me, based on this first impression, is the yeah. super easy to wear I would say. fragrance scent that most people would yeah. definitely enjoy. You wanna know what this is? This is a mix between Sauvage and Gisada Ambassador. Mm -hmm, interesting. Yeah, maybe. This is Jimmy Choo Man Ice. So this is one I've been thinking about buying for quite some time. And I believe I had like at least 10 subscribers suggesting me to try it out in yeah. the comments. So this is going to be interesting. So what do you think? I don't know. This is fresh, a bit citrusy. This is a different kind of freshy that I'm not used to. Maybe a bit green, M maybe a bit mossy or something. I'm not sure. Yeah, this is, this is my, try it now, after it's sort of settled a bit. This yeah, is this definitely is... fresh, yeah. maybe a bit of musk or something. And I feel this one, I'm not sure what it reminds me of. Window cleaner. Whoa, <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> I'm no, sorry, just... but this smells like window cleaner to me. Ah, okay. I might change my mind, but first impression, window cleaner. I think um, I actually like it. This is something, this is fresh, definitely. It also feels a bit musky. I'm not sure exactly what it reminds me of. You know that if you saved your money on this one, okay. and instead you just went down to the grocery store, you would have to pay like two bucks for some window cleaner. Whoa, okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, so <laughs> I, I don't think this is a bad fragrance. I quite like it. I definitely think this one will be a lot better once it dries down. You absolutely <laughs> dislike it because you think yeah. actually I will smell better by buying window, window cleaner. cleaner and spray that thing yeah, on me. Actually. So yeah. And, and also you could clean it at the same time. And now a fragrance from John Varvatos that I've been looking at for quite some time and I finally decided to buy it. This is John Varvatos XX Artisan. I think John Varvatos has created some fantastic fragrances over the years. This is going to be very interesting. I'm hoping this is going to be a good one. Another window Spicy, cleaner. Spicy, woody, citrusy, fresh. Mm. Yeah, it's nice. I wonder if this one has vetiver or something in it. This is actually very different compared to everything else I have from John Lord Yeah, it Definitely. really is. This one, can I have a sniff again? This is, this feels, I could be wrong here, but this one almost feels like Grey Vetiver from Tom Ford. Yeah, but a with a slight difference to it and yeah. maybe maybe like a bit more greenish and sort of a raw greenish. Yeah. I'm not sure how you feel about that sort of No, way. I agree. Maybe it doesn't have the soapiness, the beautiful soapiness that Grey Vetiver has, but yeah, it does remind me of it. 
okay, I'm, I'm happy I bought it. This one is really different from everything else from John Varvatos. I think it sort of reminds me of Grey Vetiver, a fragrance I really like. Yeah. Is this a thumbs up from you? It's a thumbs up. <laughs> So the third phrase I bought from Solinotes is Vanille, please do spray okay. it on. Yes. And apparently on the box it says that it's an EDP. Okay, well you can never go wrong with vanilla, right? Uh, no, so I was, think, I was hoping, since this is so cheap, that it's going to be a really nice fragrance that I, at least that it's good enough for me to use as a base yeah. when layering. Yeah. So quickly the notes, oh. white flowers, <laughs> vanilla, tonka bean, and spices. Yeah. Ooh, okay. This smells like vanilla ice yeah. cream. This is beautiful. Straight away, sweetness and vanilla, and come and on. And it's mine. Thank you. This is beautiful. <laughs> yeah, you are right. This is... <laughs> vanilla ice cream. Yeah, this is vanilla ice cream, basically. Yeah. This reminds me, I had a fragrance when I was young. We are talking in my teens. And it smelled like this. Mm -hmm. And it, the bottle was horrible, but I bought it time and time again. And ever since then, I have been searching for it, but I cannot find it. But this is, I think, as close as you can get. So I quite like this one. I'm gonna say this though. If you, this to me is quite sort of a sweet. This is like a sweet, vanilla ice cream. So if you prefer your vanilla to be less sweet, maybe skip this one. But I think for eight bucks, this one is like a no-brainer. Yes. So last but not least, I bought a fragrance from Parfums de Mali. This is a fragrance I've already tried. I like it, but I believe you have not put your nose to it. No, and I think this is about the only Parfums de Mali that you don't have. Pretty much. Yes. This is Darlie. Please do open it up. Yeah. Parfums de Marly just can't make a bad fragrance. This is really good. I like it. It's really soft. It doesn't stand out in a crazy way, but this to me is very elegant and sophisticated. And do you know, this is a fragrance a lot of people compare to another fragrance. Yeah. And I'm curious if you yeah. pick up on it. I do, but I can't say which one it is. Okay, this is... A fragrance, a lot of people feel it's similar to Le Mal from Jean Paul Gaultier. No? I can see it. Okay. Yeah. I can see it. But they are also very different. This is gorgeous. I've had a sample of this that lasted me quite a long time, but I felt that it's time for me to buy a full bottle of it. Yeah. So yeah, this is another fragrance from Parfums de Mali I feel is really, yeah. really nice. Is this a thumbs up, two thumbs up? This is two thumbs up. Or are we starting with a thumbs up? Yeah, 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 again? sorry, sorry. <laughs> no more thumbs. No, this is a big like. Yeah, big like. So we usually wrap things up by choosing our favorites. And I see you have chosen Darlie and Pacific yeah. from Hugo Boss. So this was a tough choice, but I'm actually going to go with exactly the same yes. as you. So I would love to know if you had tried any of these fragrances that I bought. Please do drop a like on this video. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you head on over to Sandra Salomon Fragrance. I'm going to link to her channel in the description below. Sub to her, sub to me, and I'll see you in the next one.